Hey folks, uh, there have been a few folks that have been asking questions about this match that bar chart assignment. So we'll go through, take a little bit of a look at some of them here. Uh, start, and I think I, we said to do the apprentice and master level. I'm just going to start on the apprentice. Master level is uh, fairly similar. Start apprentice. The first thing that a lot of people end up um, not noticing or missing is that up here, uh, it tells us the total amount of energy at this point is one, two, three, four, five bars. That means that the total amount of energy everywhere has to be five bars. Some people uh, end up focusing on locations A, B, and C and are comparing those and forget that, hey, uh, energy is conserved. We have a closed, isolated system, so the total energy must be conserved and constant. So... It's a closed, isolated system. Everything is in our system. Uh, so our total energy must be conserved and constant. We must always have five bars of energy. Uh, location A here, bloop, click on that. Um, and uh, this is lower than here. So there should be less potential energy and there should be more kinetic energy. Um, this fits that bill and it does have a total of six bars or pardon me of five bars of energy the issue that we've got is that if it's this much lower i would expect there to be a lot more kinetic energy instead of the gravitational potential energy so i'm gonna click on this again well that doesn't work zero total energy untrue um, this has more kinetic than potential but it gives us um, nine bars of total energy where we should only have five 10 bars of energy, five bars of energy, all potential, all kinetic. So this one could be it. If we're saying this is zero height, then all of the potential energy is now kinetic. This right now is the most promising, and I think that's probably it. I'm going to leave it on that one. Uh, location B. So now this one is a little bit higher than A, so it should have some potential energy. It should still have some kinetic energy. Uh, and it should have a total of five bars. Um, total of seven, total of four, and even Steven on the kinetic and potential. Um, all potential energy, there should still be some kinetic, right? If it were five bars of potential, it would this uh, object would have to be at the same height as it was uh, at the beginning. Um, Two bars of kinetic, but no potential. Well, it should have some potential. Two bars of potential should have some kinetic. Ah, promising. Three bars of kinetic, two bars of potential. It totals up to five. It has some kinetic. It has some potential. So the positives, it has some kinetic and some potential. It totals to five. That's good. Um, it's got less kinetic than A. It's got more potential than A. So now we'll check C. Bloop, bloop. So C is higher than b so it should have more gravitational energy or more pe um, so here they have two bars of gravitational potential energy here we better have more than two we're higher up um, and then in addition to having more than two gravitational potential energies of the the green ones here more than two there uh, the kinetic has to the kinetic plus potential still has to add up to five so we have three bars of potential, which meets this more potential energy need, but no kinetic. We should still have some kinetic, right? We're missing two bars. Three and three, so we have some potential, some kinetic. That's good. We have more potential energy here than we do there. That's good. However, we have six bars of total energy. Yeah, we can only have five, so that doesn't work way more than five bars oh here we go three bars of potential that's more than there was at b two bars of kinetic that's less than b but our total still adds up to five so i think that one's good i hit check answer that away so we're good um 
I'm going to hit continue. And then instead of going on, you will go through all of these. I'm going to switch, go back to the main menu. Yes, return. You won't do that. You keep doing that until you get this. And I think I asked you to also do the master level. So uh, if we do master level, same thing. It's just that instead of always giving us the starting point for energy, it gives us other spots to start at. So here they're telling us total energy is still one, two, three, four, five. And here we're at five bars of energy. So at location B, we should have five bars of energy and it should, it's really low. It looks like it's the lowest spot. So there should be no gravitational potential and probably five bars of kinetic. Hey, there should be location A. It's really high. So it should have a lot of gravitational potential and very little kinetic. It should have a total of five. This fits as though we're all potential here. Um, I can't imagine there being another one that really worked well there. No. So we'll stick with that. And then location C, um, we still need a total of five bars of energy, um, a little bit lower than position A. So position A had five bars of potential energy, of gravitational potential energy. Location C should have a little bit less than five bars of gravitational potential energy. Hey, this one has less than five bars of gravitational potential energy. It has four, but we don't meet that need to have our energy still constant and conserved. Uh, mm -hmm. ooh, so four bars of gravitational potential, one bar of kinetic. We have our energy constant and conserved all the way through. That seems to work. Um, I hope that helps. Good luck, folks.